Hello everyone, my name is Archit Kaur and you're welcome to HighTimeStudy.com's YouTube channel and today we are going to do interspecific relationship. So please note down the word inter. So there are two terms, inter and intro. So here we are going to do the inter, not intro. Inter means with, uh, between different species, whereas intra means within same species. So interspecific relationship means type of interaction that occurs between population of different species. Example we have is parasitism, predation, mutualism, etc. The interactions are usually indicated by positive, negative, or zero form regarding both partners as following. Plus sign indicating benefit, minus sign indicating harm or inhibition, zero indicating neither benefit nor harm that is so here you can see that we have species a species b say two partners here and in the neutralism both are zero zero then commensalism positive zero proto corporation positive positive mutualism positive positive these both have little difference which is very important Next we have is immensalism, negative zero, parasitism, positive, negative, predation, positive, negative, competition, negative, negative. Neutralism, which is zero, zero, means both are neutral to each other. When populations of two species coexist in an ecosystem with neither affecting the other, for example, in cactus and tarantulas, coexist with no or insignificant interactions. So for example, we have species A and species B. They live in same ecosystem, but they have no relationship in between them. They just live independently of each other. That accounts the neutralism. Next we have is commensalism, which is positive and zero. Means when one species population is benefited, that is commensal, while other remains unaffected, which is the host. So let's say we have species B and species C. So we have B feeding upon C. And B feeding upon C becomes the commensal and C has no effect. Whether it feeds on it, B feeds on it or not, it has no effect. And that makes it the host in commensalism. So commensalism is when one species population is benefited, that is commensal. Here we have commensal SB. And while other remains unaffected, we call it host, which is C here. Commensal means eating at same table. We have is types of commensalism. We have pheresis, inculism, metabiosis. Pheresis means to carry. The furont is carried in or on by the host from one place to another. Say we have species C and species C carries species D from one place to another. So that makes it furont is carried in or on. So D is the furont here and C is the host here. Purposes, transportation or dispersal, no metabolic feeding interaction occurs in between them. It can be facultative or obligatory. Example we have is pseudoscorpion, usually found under the electra of Harley Queen beetle. So next we have is inculism, which means tenancy. Inculang lives as commensal in nest, burrow or dwelling place of the host. Say we have species E and F. Species E lives in a burrow and species F also lives in the burrow of species E. That makes the inculism. Inculin lives as commensal in nest or burrow or dwelling place of the host. So F becomes the inculin and E becomes the host here. So we have example, Hebrotroca rosa lives in the picture of Saracenia purpurea. 
which is the purple pitcher plant. Next we have is metabiosis. One organism creates suitable environment for living of other organism. So say we have organism G and H. So organism G makes a suitable environment for living of H. That denotes the metabiosis. For example, hermit crab lives in the shell of gastropod to protect their body. Next we have is protocooperation and mutualism. Nearly related but with very significant difference. So both are positive, 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 positive. Protocooperation, first of all, let's take it. Populations of both species are benefited by the interaction. Interaction is not obligatory. So this is the difference. In protocooperation, both are benefited, but the interaction is not obligatory. Say we have organism I and J. So I and J can live together, but it's this interaction is not obligatory. I can live independently. J can also live independently, which denotes the protocooperation. I benefits from J, J benefits from I, but these can live independently. So this is also called facultative cooperation or facultative mutualism. For example, sea anemone attached to the shells of hermit crab. Next we have is mutualism in which both species are benefited, but the interaction is obligatory. That is neither can survive without the other under natural conditions. So we have say species S and species R. They have to live together if they want to survive. If we keep them alone or independent of each other, they will not survive. So that denotes the mutualism. So interaction is obligatory. For example, we have is lichens. Next, we have is amensalism, that is zero and negative. One species population is inhibited, but other remains unaffected. That is, this interaction is detrimental to one while other is not affected. So say we have a tree and we have one small plant here. This tree releases toxins and these toxins are toxic to this plant and it inhibits its growth. That denotes the amensalism. This tree, it's say it's not obligatory for the tree to release the toxins, but it is releasing as byproduct. And these toxins are harming the growth of another plant. That denotes the amensalism. One species is inhibited while the other remains unaffected. If this tree release toxins or not, this that will not affect this tree, but the toxins released by this tree is are affecting the growth of this plant. Amensalism. So for example, release of certain toxins by one plant species inhibits growth of the other. Next we have is parasitism and predation is also positive negative and both have also a small difference. So parasitism, let's take that. Parasitism is type of interspecific relationship in which one organism parasite is metabolically dependent on the other host. The parasite benefits at the expense of the host and is also usually smaller than the size of its host. Say we have species T and species W. This W species lives over species T for food, energy, habitat, etc. That denotes the parasitism. Parasitic relationship is said to be obligatory as normally the parasite cannot survive without its host. For example, we have ticks, leeches, or blood sucking parasites. Next we have is predation. This is also positive negative. Type of interspecific interaction in which one organism predator obtains food energy by consuming the other organism prey, usually after killing it. So 
we have we can say here is say species s and we have species u uh, let me increase its size so we have species u so species u feeds upon species s by killing it this denotes the predation predation also includes grazing by herbivores in contrast to parasitism predator is usually larger than prey and prey is killed by a predator for food for example lion kills zebra and next we have is competition both are negative negative interspecific competition we have two types interspecific competition and intraspecific competition so here we are doing the interspecific competition and intraspecific competition will be discussed in another video so here let's do the interspecific competition interaction between populations of different species at same trophic level which adversely affects one or some or all the interacting species for example lion and tiger compete for same deer for food so this becomes lion and tiger interspecific competition last we have is symbiosis that is living together it is type of close or intimate relationship among organisms of different species members of symbiotic relationships are called symbionts and examples we have are commensalism parasitism mutualism are considered symbiotic relationships